Hello everyone and welcome back to Paul's Halls. My name is Paul and I have no haul. <laughs> uh, today, I don't have a book haul for you today. I have something special. Um, we are currently in the process of moving to the new library here in Selbyville, Delaware. Uh, we're leaving the old John G. Townsend building and moving into our brand new facility right next door. Uh, it's gonna be on 11 West McCabe Street. And this video is kind of a walkthrough of the Townsend building as it was right before we closed. Uh, this is for archival reasons, uh, for nostalgia reasons. I know personally, you know, 10, 15 years from now, I would like to watch this video and kind of remember all the times that I spent in this building. Uh, just to kind of look back at where we were and then, you know, where we are now. I think it's really cool. Um, before we look at the video though, I want to go ahead and read the history of the library. Uh, this is posted on our website. The idea for the library in the community of Selbyville, Delaware was conceived in 1931. With the delivery of 22 books from the state traveling library to Mrs. Inga Tubbs, the, the president of the Selbyville Community Club, 1931. Wow. The library was born on April 21st, 1932, originally set up in the club room of Redmond's Hall. Club members volunteered to run the library every Friday afternoon from 4 to 5 p.m. The Selbyville Free Public Library began on February 19th, 1939, after the club raised $225 over a five-year period, which allowed them to qualify for state aid and to purchase 1,000 volumes. The library moved in the late 1940s to the Sunday School Room of the Salem Methodist Church. The library's current location uh, the former home of Senator John G. Townsend became available in 1966. The original house of John G. Townsend was built in 1906 and was donated to the trustees of the library by Senator Townsend's family after his death in 1964. An, ad an addition was dedicated in 1990 Later, Dr. Asher and Pauline Carey donated property to the, to the library, and the funds from that resulting sale, plus money, money donated by the community, was used for an addition. On June 19, 20, uh, 2004, State Senator John H. Bunting dedicated the Dr. Asher and Pauline Carey wing of the library. The wing holds the library's juvenile and young adult collections, a quiet study room, a children's activity room, offices for the director and youth services librarian. The original Townsend House contains Senator Townsend's office, maintained as a small museum, as well as a periodical reading room. Additionally, the Townsend House also is a site of the sunroom, a facility that can hold up to 30 people for presentations, meetings, and events. You know, we had a lot of great memories in the Townsend building, and we are excited about all the new memories and experiences we will have in our new building. The Townsend building will be going to the Selbyville Historical Society, and I'm really excited to see what they do with the building here. Uh, thank you to everyone who has had a part in the history of the Selbyville Public Library, to the Townsend family, the Carey family, all of the staff over the years and all of the amazing patrons that we've had over all the decades. A new era of the Selbyville Public Library is about to be written, but let's not forget our past. Please enjoy this walkthrough of the library. It was filmed in September of 2024. 